Okay, so, um, I'm wearing my Snooky hair today because I just got a new shirt. GTL, baby. <laughs> um, okay, so anyways, I'm gonna go over the Plato's allegory of the cave. And basically, that just means, so what he was saying was, there's these forms in the world which we see. So, this is a form of a phone, and this is a form of a mouse, but they're not actually a mouse, and it's not actually a phone. This is just a form of a phone. The first, it's the idea that we create in our head of a phone, and then we have a form of it, but it's not the actual phone. So, like, you can have two, spelled T-W-O, just a representation of two, and, um, like the Roman numerals two, and the fingers even showing two. Um, but they are not actually two. Nobody really can see two. It's just a form of a two. It's the idea that comes first, and then the form follows. So that's what Plato basically tries to say in his example of the Plato's allegory of the cave. And basically, what he tries to show, there's amazing videos on YouTube, some really funny ones, I'll put them in the link below, but <laughs> they're awesome. Anyways, the Plato's allegory is basically it's like these guys, these people have lived their whole life in the cave and they sh they're shackled and they can only see forward and all they see is a blank wall. But behind them there's a fire burning and the fire and then the people come along with different figures of different things like a duck or a, or a snake or whatever and, and the people sitting there, there's, they know people are beside them. They just can't turn their head to see what they look like. But they they all um, say different, like they guess what the, the forms are. And they're like, oh, that's the duck, oh, that's the thing. But they don't actually see it. That's just a shadow. That's just an illusion. But to them, that's reality. And so what happens is one person escapes, and it's allowed to go outside. And he climbs the stairs and goes out into the real world. And he sees the real sun, not the fake sun. He sees the real duck. He sees the real flowers. He sees everything in reality. And so basically, he, his mind is blown away because his whole life he has seen just the forms. And now he actually sees the true reality. And so he comes and he runs down back the stairs and he comes to tell all his friends, like, you have no idea. This is all fake what you're seeing. There's a real life outside. And, and basically, he is the philosopher because everybody in sitting in the cave thinks he's insane. Like, you're crazy. We know what a duck is. We see a duck. We can see a duck. You, you don't know what you're talking about, basically, is what they tell him. And some theories say that they kill him because... The bottom line is, ignorance is bliss. So, would you rather live a happy life, knowing nothing, and, and just being ignorant, or live a dissatisfied life, and know the real what the real form is? Basically, Plato just says that we don't know what we're, we're seeing. Everything we see is a form. We don't know the reality. And so that was his point with the cave. And there's other descriptive, more descriptive theories of the cave. I won't go into too in-depth, because I have just the basic concept. And um, so yeah, it's just, we don't see reality and these illusions that we're seeing are just shadows, like in the cave. And we have to actually think beyond the sun, beyond everything else to know the real, the real form. So yeah. Okay, so that's it for this video. Later. Bye guys.